So tell me about this sneaker fetish. Without further ado, Miami, Dayland, make some noise. Everybody in this house, give a nice warm reception for our guest, LeBron! Yes, sir. The sneaker is bananas. I love it. It's crazy. It is what it is. Thank what inspired the LeBron South Beach sneaker? Make some noise! Well, uh, I mean, when this guy right here uh, kind of made his choice, we knew that, that we had to do something special, right? And, uh, and, and Miami is one of those places where, you know, it's very unique in the world, right? And there's a lot of personality and there's only so many places um, that, that can really come alive like that. So we started looking at South Beach and, and what it's like, you know, the bright lights, uh, kind of a new beginning uh, for, for LeBron, for the team, uh, new shoe, you know, how do we kick it off? So really it was just inspired by the atmosphere that, that you guys live every day. I mean, and, and, and LeBron is about to, you know, I, I've been out in the sun for a couple of days and soaking it up myself. I got to go back to rainy Portland. So so just really wanted to uh, to kind of get that into the shoe, just just capture that that lifestyle. And man, did you do it in a huge way, LeBron? Let me ask you: you have the lion head symbols on the sneakers. What does that mean? What does that symbolize? Uh, I think it symbolizes the strength and honor. You know, uh, you know, being the the, the the heavy the heavyweight of, of the jungle. And for me, you know, every time I go out on the court, I feel like I'm the best. You know, and I'm you know trying to put that that strength and that power in, into my game. So you know, not only being like the King of the jungle, but at the same time having that strength and honor and that loyalty towards family and uh, you know the line represents all of that That's heavy man. Jason for the first time we see the number six incorporated in the shoe What else can we find in this sneaker? That's deep man <laughs> Well, uh, I actually remember uh, Sitting in a meeting uh, with LeBron and he, he was kind of working out that that new signature uh, Which was really cool for us to be able to incorporate it into the shoe so you know, kind of throughout the shoe, you'll find different details. Obviously, the lion head is, is a key. Um, there's some shout outs to, uh, to kind of uh, LeBron's life um, on the bottom. Uh, you can check out the tag on the back of the tongue, which is actually inspired by uh, some of the bespoke suits and, uh, and, and tailored uh, clothing that, that LeBron uh, wears. Um, anything from his number, you know, little, little uh, bits of number six in the perforations and, and the dots all the way up to uh, the number eight. Uh, represented with eight perforations on the side just really um, kind of bringing that whole uh, you know every bit of his life into the shoe you got a lot of elements of his life in it, a lot of elements of style in it but what elements when someone puts that on and someone calls you out what contributes to basketball about that shoe well I mean the biggest thing that you guys probably all see and something that LeBron has made uh, you know signature in his shoes is this full-length air bubble I uh, love that it's crazy. I mean, it, it worked pretty well for you last year. And, you Absolutely. Know, something that LeBron kind of was like, yo, I want to keep going um, with that technology. Works for me. Building on that. And then we really kind of tried to strip down what was in the seven, remove weight, uh, and make it a little, like, get that lockdown that you want to get. So you see the fly wire, what we call skin wire, fly wire 3.0, or 2.0, excuse 2 me, panels on the side. Um, and then the rest is just this really luxurious leather, um, super comfortable, super flexible, um, but also just something you want to wear as well. You know, so it's all about really locked down in the upper protection uh, in, in the bottom. You want to add something to that, LeBron? That's tough, man. Well, for me, uh, you know, all the the, the geniuses and, and the guys that's in the, in the kitchen, I don't know a lot of those words they be talking about. <laughs> but for me, it, it's about, you know, first of all, it's about comfort and about style, and then at the end of the day, it's about look. Um, because when you go out on the basketball court, anybody, male or female, when you lace your tennis shoes up, you want to feel like you're putting on some, some nice looking kicks. You don't even want to be out there and just anything. You know, and there's a, there's a lot of anything shoes out there. Too many. I'm not going to name any of them, but uh, there's a lot of anything shoes out there. So for me, you know, to have the comfort 
that had a lockdown um, supporter to shoot that is not going to give or anything, any cut that I have. And then at the end of the day, um, and when you look good, you play good. So that's awesome. When you look good, you play good. You heard that? Yeah. Why South Beach? Why South Beach? I mean, uh, I think it's self-explanatory for me. Um, you know, this is this is my initial uh, initiative to be here, and uh, I'm just trying to give back. You know, this is my inspiration, and uh, this is the best way to give back right now. You're like one of the only ones in the world to play in a sneaker. How do you like playing in it? As opposed to some of the other LeBron sneakers, how do you like playing in that one? Uh, it's great. Um, well, like I said before, we, we continue to try to um, add things to the shoe that we didn't have in the year before, or, or, or taking things out in the shoe that we didn't have in the year before. Like you said, we uh, went to a lighter uh, support system, so that's great. I'm Jason Petrie, designer, Nike basketball, LeBron footwear. You're watching Inside the Sneaker Box.